Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be trying out some new brush packs for Procreate. Now some this is something that I haven't actually done before. Um, I usually just use the built-in brush packs that Procreate has to offer as soon as you download Procreate but I have been seeing a lot of people using different brush packs getting different sorts of results and I'm super super excited because I used to download brush packs for Photoshop when I used to primarily illustrate on Photoshop. Now that I primarily illustrate on Procreate I thought I am missing a trick here by not trying out these brush packs. The brush pack that I'm actually going to be trying out is the Essential Painting Box um, by, I think it's Eli Eliza Morno. Eliza Morno, yeah. <laughs> and you get 10 brushes in this pack. Now, I have to totally admit that the thing that drew me to this brush pack was totally the illustration. I loved her illustration style and I actually recognised it um, and I just like these textures and stuff so it'd be really fun to try and see if I can emulate those textures and stuff in my drawings as well, my illustrations. And you get 10 brushes in this pack. You get a noisy shadow brush, a graphite storm brush, dry graphite, ink brush, dry pencil, holy fill, dirty TV, snail graphite, charcoal tubey and shadow mix. This is going to be really exciting to use. So this is kind of just an example of what you can use using the Essential Painting Box tool and yeah, I'm going to put them into Procreate. There is a video on Design Cuts that explains all through how to download the brushes and put it onto Procreate so I'll leave a link in the description for that as well if you guys want to check out this brush pack and you want to download something, uh, I'll leave that in the link in the description. So yeah, super excited to try this out. This is currently on sale for $6.00. For 10 brushes uh that works out something like four pound 80 something along those lines so i think that is pretty good if you ask me i'm just turning my second camera off now i will say that this brush pack has been kindly gifted to me by design cuts but this is not a sponsored video by any means although there will be a link in the description below to this little brush pack that will be an affiliate link so i just wanted to be fully transparent to you guys basically what an affiliate link is is if you guys decide to have a go at this brush pack yourself i'll get a little bit of commission from you guys checking it out so this is just me trying out i'm going to see what i feel about these brush packs I'm going to see how i get on as well it's going to be interesting to see uh how my illustration style adapts to new brushes i want an autumn feel and this is going to be an 80k draw this in your style challenge hopefully if the illustration goes well so if you want to join in on the 80k draw this in your style challenge that will be over on my instagram so that's what we're going to do let's try these brushes out i've just made a new file over here and i've installed the brushes and everything and i've just put it all in one folder called the essential paint box uh, also please excuse my nail varnish i'm getting my nails done tomorrow and this little thumb a bit off so let's just ignore that please don't judge me so first of all let's do a swatch of all these i'm just gonna get like a pink color and i'm gonna do it against the white background and see kind of how it pans out or at least i would if my apple pencil hadn't run out okay that should do it right let's have a swatch of these pens i'm so excited i feel like i've got a new app or something to play with so ooh, <gasps> very nice so this is the dry pencil doesn't look like it's pressure sensitive it is in terms of oh very nice so that's a dry pencil then we've got the holy fill oh that's going to be really nice for shading so the tape is at the end isn't pressure sensitive in terms of size then we've got this ink brush now this ink brush looks really cool so it looks similar to the gouache. Oh yes, I am going to like this brush, I can tell already. It looks very similar to Procreate's gouache. Again, the taper on the end is not pressure sensitive, um, but obviously it's pressure sensitive in terms of um, opacity. This brush reminds me of, can anyone remember like Microsoft Paint? <laughs> It reminds me of like the little texture brush in Microsoft Paint but I'm sure that'll look pretty cool for shading and stuff. Again, not pressure sensitive on the end. Then we've got Snail Graphite. Oh, this would be nice for line art 
if it was tapered on the end but again this is not tapered on the end uh, this is called noisy shadow I can imagine this being a very nice uh, brush back I'm just turning my pen on the side here and it applies like a shadow quite lightly which is how I tend to shade quite often and then we've got dry graphite here as well so let's try this one so again this looks similar to the previous ones but with a larger grain to it and yeah so that's the little pen swatches I do like the textures of this I think I'm going to really enjoy using this one it looks very very similar to the gouache um, and I do enjoy using the gouache so be interesting to see how we can kind of come up with an illustration I think I'm going to do the background as like a cozy uh, pinky orange color for autumn and I'm going to use a dry pencil for sketching so let's get into sketching Okay, so I finished the sketch and I have to admit I don't like this brush for sketching. Also, her eyes are super weird at the minute, but hopefully I can figure that out in the kind of colouring and stuff. But yeah, I'm not really happy with using this brush as a sketching brush because I don't like the way it doesn't taper and I don't like the way that it's not kind of as pressure sensitive as the 6B pencil. However, it's done the trick. so. I'm excited to try out the colour and see how that fares up. Now, this is where the fun part begins, is the colouring stage. So I'm going to turn the opacity right down and I'm going to do the lines after the colouring. So I'm just going to go ahead and begin colouring. For the colouring, I think I'm going to use the ink brush for the main base of the colouring. So the first kind of flat layer. Oh, so I do like the way this colours and what I'm going to do to kind of give it that kind of natural sketchy feel is I'm actually not going to colour it all in fully like a colour block. I'm going to kind of leave some lines like uncoloured if that makes sense like kind of like that so I'll leave these sketchy bits out uh, to kind of give it that yeah nice uh, traditional feel. I do like the texture of this brush. Unlike the gouache brush as well, this doesn't seem to have that kind of overlapping issue uh, that you can get with the gouache brush. Um, ah, what happened there? Now, for the belt buckle, I'm just going to have a try at the dry pencil but a little bit larger just to kind of do the belt buckle maybe a bit smaller than that because the texture is pretty cool Um, 
to use for kind of filling in that colour. is down so now I'm going to open a new layer and I'm going to go kind of in with like the details like the face I'm thinking that I'm actually going to keep these outlines raw basically I'm not going to line these out because I kind of like the rough uh, texture like this at the end of the illustration I think it kind of adds something to it uh, but I will go in with some shading and stuff using some of the charcoal B and noisy shadow brushes that we haven't quite used yet let's see what shadow mixes like for lips looking at people looking at phones to see how the eyes are positioned. I'm having a hard time with this. Okay, now I think I'm going to add some shading and stuff to this. Now, I'm quite excited for this because I want to use and try out the other brushes. So I want to try, so we've tried the Dirty TV. Have we tried the Snail Graphite? Let's see. So that could be a good one, or the Charcoal Beat, or the Noisy Shadow. Ooh, the Noisy Shadow looks like it might be quite good. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn my opacity down. Now sometimes I actually find that I prefer my illustrations without any shading. I always tend to go back and like the stuff that I did um, before shading, like the flat colours. But I am going to try this brush and I'm liking it so far, wow. usually do and that is I'm going to do like some highlighted hair shading using the let's try the dry graphite because we haven't used that yet it doesn't really work for hair shading that brush so maybe we could try noisy shadow see what that turns out like maybe turn it down a notch So I think I'm done with this illustration so I'm going to group it all I'm just going to add some shadows and uh, underneath her where she stood. It's not the greatest illustration I've done but it's been fun using these brushes. I'm doing it as if she's kind of taking a selfie in a bedroom and this is like carpet on the floor here. So this is for the ATK Drawers Senior Style Challenge so let's see this pen looks like. I'm currently using the dry pencil. And then I'm going to use probably the dry pencil again. I 
I'll definitely use this pencil again for kind of doing text and stuff because I really like the texture of this. Look how I'm done. I'm going to stop and quit while I'm ahead because I always end up ruining it. I have to admit that uh, my favourite pens out of this brush pack, I didn't use these ones as much because the texture is too large for me um, and it didn't really go with like the shading and stuff, it was a little bit too large the grain on them so I didn't use these ones as much I used a bit of the graphite storm for the shading of the hair but my favorite from this pack definitely is the dry pencil and the ink brush will be using them again that was it I hope you enjoyed this video I've had so much fun trying it out it's not the greatest illustration I've ever done but it's just fun trying and experimenting with different brush packs and yeah let, definitely let me know in the comments if you want to see more of those type of videos would you like to see me trying out different brush packs they have so many they have like watercolor ones sketching ones yeah I just want to try them all and let me know what you think to the start of this procreate series uh, and I will see you very very soon I hope you enjoyed the video and thank you so very much for watching I'll see you all in a little bit all right then I love you goodbye